how you guys welcome to my youtube channel please don't forget to like comment subscribe turn on post notification so you know when i'm dropping other content also um i hope you guys heard me because i forgot i was on my earpiece but anyways i am going to be eating marie calendar's lasagna let's see what it do let's see what it do so this is what it looks like mm -hmm. oh I don't know my yeah so that's what I'm be eating today and what are you guys doing What's going on for Christmas with you guys, you know? Give me some ideas of what you guys are doing, what you guys are cooking. I just want to be nosy. I just want to be nosy. Nosy. Anyway. So, yeah, so I decided to have lunch with you guys because I haven't did it in a minute. But I am thankful that you guys are here. You guys are watching me. Please like, comment, subscribe. Turn on post notifications. Tell a friend. Tell an enemy. Tell them to talk about me. Tell them to say whatever they want. In the comments. Share my video with whoever you like. It's for free. <laughs> so here we go. Let's taste this. Because it look a little juicy. I might have to go out and get me something but we'll see first bite is for you guys can you get it is it uh uh there you go that was good huh really oh okay i'm gonna taste it now It's alright. It's edible. But I could have used some more cheese. And... But this is what you get when you don't cook for yourself. So what you guys been up to? I haven't been up to doing anything. Lately my energy has been very low. Very low. And I hate that because it be sometimes when my energy is so low, I can't get back on track, you know. But I'm trying to do it without without mm, not doing it at all. So but i haven't been up to anything i think i haven't hanged out with my friends so i'm gonna see which one of my friends are available this weekend and go hang out just get out the house and maybe that's my problem i just need to get out the house Yeah. How are you guys feeling about this weather? Were you ready for this cold weather? Because I wasn't ready. I definitely wasn't ready. My body said, I ain't ready. You ain't ready, girl. But it's here now. What can I do? I 
I want to go and take myself and and get pampered. I might do that this weekend. Mm-hmm. Get pamper, pamper myself. Because if I don't do it, If I don't do it, nobody's going to do it. So I have to pamper my own self, which is fine because I love doing it. I like going to get my nails done, my feet done, my eyelashes. But I haven't did that, so I think I'm going to go and pamper myself. Not for sure because because this weather. I don't like being cold, guys. I hate being cold. Like right now, it's probably probably seventy degrees outside. I got my heater on. Mm-hmm. I got my heater on. I don't care. I come to work early. And if it was a little warmer outside. I would sit in my car, listen to my music. Mm -mm. I come in the office, turn on the heater, what you say. You got me a water bottle. Now, I put ice and water in this water bottle on a Monday. I still had ice in it today. It was just a little ice, but it was able to, uh, it was able to, you know, have cold water this morning. So I went and I filled it up again. So this will last me until Friday. So I leave it here at work because it's a big jug. There's no need to tote it around back and forth from home. So when I get here on Monday, the water is still really cold. And I drink that water, and then I go and fill it back up and do it all over again. But yeah, that jug keeps my water very cold, and I love it. Even though it's cold, I love drinking cold water. Mm-hmm. So... So, y'all, um, put in my um, comments, let's talk about relationships. And let's talk about relationships. And I'm going to pose a question for you guys. Is there any difference between a girlfriend your fiance and a wife what is the difference between those three people girlfriend fiance wife or husband what is the difference between those to you do you think that in the different stages do you do you um show different things or do you give your, your girlfriend all free range of everything that you're doing in your life you give your girlfriend all free range of that 
But when you know that it's serious and y'all are growing together, y'all are doing things together. In other words, if you had a girlfriend, where do you see yourself in three years? Where do you see yourself in three years if you had a girlfriend? Or a boyfriend? Where do you see yourself? Now that you've been with this person for two or more years, do you see yourself marrying this person? Asking this person to be your significant other? What are the key to you? What are the key things that you would like to see in your relationship that you know that it will move on to an engagement and a marriage? What do you see in, in the person that you whip that those things would happen? I just want to know. You guys share those things with me. And um, let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Because, um, you know, it depends on the answers that you give me that I can come back and say, okay, so-and-so said this, so let me elaborate on it, you know? Let's talk about it. Let's talk about if you have been in an abusive relationship and how did you get out? Let's talk about if you were with somebody that was a serial cheater, how did you get out? Are you still there? Let's talk about how do you know the person that you're with is supposed to be with you forever? Hmm? How did you know? Those are questions that I would like to know. I would like to get feedback. To um, tell me something. And then the only thing I don't like about my water bottle is that it doesn't have a, a, a weird pla place where I can put a straw. Although, excuse me, although I can put a straw in here, I don't choose to because because the sh because it's not going to make my keep my ice cold keep my ice from melting so fast so every time i have to sip it do it like this <clears throat> that right there that was good <laughs> I say good, hallelujah. But yeah, you know, let's talk about it, guys. So, you know, give me some questions that you want to ask me. You know, if you haven't went back and looked at my videos, I talked a lot about myself when I first started my channel so that you guys can get, um, so that you guys do know who I am and what I'm about. And um, I like to just talk about it. You know, if you have any questions for me, how did I become a handicap? How did I do this? How did I do that? You know, 
Let's talk about it. We don't have to talk about me being handicapped because there's a lot of people in the world are handicapped. I ain't the only one. But, um, you know, let's talk about it. Let's see what we can come up with. Let's see if I can help somebody out there that needs a, um, a ear to um, listen to them. Because ain't nothing... Like having a real friend. Now, we all have friends. But do we have those real friends that will say, so-and-so, you're wrong. You're wrong for doing that. You need to apologize. Or we have those friends go, you did that to her? Oh, my God. Give me a high five. Give me a high five. No. No. Those are not your real friends. Those are not your real friends that will celebrate your behavior, your bad behavior. They're not good friends. When you have a friend that say, you know what, stop. You were wrong. You need to do better. You need to apologize. Those are the friends I like. Because they don't beat around the bush. They're not going to tell you what you need, what what you want to hear. They're going to tell you what you need to hear. They're going to tell you how you're wrong. If you're wrong. They're going to give you some advice that maybe you probably didn't see it at that moment that you needed that advice. But get you some real friends. Because I guarantee you, if you had a friend, if you wanted them people to have friends that celebrate your bad behavior, they're bad friends. Mm-hmm. A bad friend. Now, if you have a friend that tells you Now, if you have a friend that tells you you're wrong and you get mad, if your friend tells you you're wrong for what you're doing and you get mad, that be that's because you feel like whatever you're doing, you're right by doing it. And your friend is telling you you're wrong for doing that. Then, then you're mad at them for telling you the right thing to do. That means you're one. Of, that means you go look at yourself in the mirror and see what kind of person you are, because you're that type of person that likes people to condone your bad behavior. So you get mad at the people that tells you you're wrong. I'm just saying. You got a lot of those people around here. And I try my best to keep those people out of my life. Because if you can't be a hundred with me, don't be nothing with me. But don't make up shit. Don't make up shit to make yourself look bad. Because what a person does... What a person does, they would talk about you. Tell you all their... Tell you all your um, mistakes and 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 belittle you just to make themselves look big. When you find somebody like that, they ain't no good for you because somebody's calling you out of your name and disrespecting you and um, trying to say that they better than you because you know they do this better than you. Let me tell you now. Come on. Come on up here. Listen. Nobody's better than me. And I'm no better than nobody. I'm me all day. 24 hours a day. 376, 74 days of a year. 72 days of a year. I don't, 365 days of the year. I'm okay. I don't need anybody to think that they better than me. Because they think so. You can think it. 
It's okay. I already know who I am. I don't have to display it. You know, I hate people go say, I hate people go out there. I'm classy. Now, if you had to tell me you were classy, you ain't classy. Do you think Michelle Obama had to tell people that she was classy? Or you can just see it, how classy she is. You can just see it. It's like little light bulb, boop, 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 class, 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 when you see old, when you see a Michelle Obama, you know. You don't have to display who you are. People will see who you are. And whether it's good or bad, that's who you are. What can you do? But, guys, please leave me some comments. Let's talk about it. Um, share my video with um, your family and your friends. Your enemies, too. Tell people they can talk about me because I got thick skin and I don't care. You know? But um, let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Okay, so please. I'm five foot bam. I'ma sign out. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Leave your post notifications down below. I say below. Below. So we can talk about it. And um, you know what we're about. Peace, love, and happiness. Bye for now, guys.